planet Earth, a living, breathing, complex organism. It has been creating and sustaining life for billions of years. In this lesson, we are going to look at some of the basic, intricately balanced cycles that without even one of them, life would not exist as it does today. If we took the sun away from the earth, it would simply die off. The sun provides the energy for the earth's rotations. These rotations allow the earth to be warmed up equally on all sides. Otherwise, earth would freeze up on one end. It assists in powering the weather. The sun also provides the energy to all living things from the opening of flower petals to the powering of your heartbeat. The atmosphere is also essential to sustain life on Earth. It provides a terrarium-type bubble around the Earth that helps keep the heat in while protecting it from cold of outer space. It also acts as a giant magnifying glass that magnifies the sun's rays that help keep the planet warm. Like a magnifying glass, the hottest point in the center is like our rainforest belt. The cooler outer portion of the light spreads out as in the polar regions of the world. The atmosphere also acts as a protective barrier for most flying debris from space. It stops much of it from wreaking havoc on the Earth. Water is found in every life form on Earth. It is the glue that holds all living things together. With the help of the sun and the atmosphere, water also forms rain clouds that disperses water across the planet so life can exist on land. Water freezes at higher elevations and in colder regions. Snow allows the mountaintops to act like giant storage tanks and to provide water to the valleys through the drought of summer by melting slowly and keeping springs running year-round. Plants, trees, and vegetation are what allow many life forms to live out of the water and on dry land by providing oxygen to our atmosphere. They work like a tag team with the land animals by breathing in carbon dioxide and breathing out oxygen, while animals breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. The trees in the tropical rainforest region of the Earth provide two-thirds of the oxygen in our atmosphere. Plants are also at the bottom of the food chain of life. If that link was missing, life would begin to die off. Life has thrived and progressed on this planet for billions of years with these basic necessary elements. But since the Industrial Revolution, these necessary elements of life are being disrupted by man's lack of respect and understanding of this beautiful planet. Our protective atmosphere that we rely so heavily on is being compromised by hydrocarbons and other industrial pollutants. Much of these pollutants affect our water in the form of acid rain, droughts, and climate change. The burning and deforestation of our tropical rainforests is affecting the breathable oxygen supply in our atmosphere. We are unraveling in just a hundred years what natural design has taken billions of years to put together. If we are to fix these problems, we will have to work with natural design instead of against it in order for it to work.